So I want to show how this is running in EDQ. For this, open up Enterprise Data Quality application. Of course, you have to install it first, but if you installed it, you have this screen here, this web page, and from here you can start the director, which I already did here in the background. Here you're defining your projects. I defined data warehouse data quality tasks here, and you can add the data stores you want to cleanse or you want to apply transformations against. So I added a data store here, which is my data warehouse source. I have some stage data, means there's an intermediate a temperate copy of my data. I added the source customer table here, and you see I have embedded a little error, which I want to cleanse. I want to remove the two slashes at the end of this customer 4714 in this example. So I defined a process which looks like that. I have a reader. This reader is reading my source table, this one here. All the reader input is running into a profiler. This profiler tool is passing over the values to the next tool, which is an invalid character check. If you click on that, you'll see there are seven rows which have valid content and one row is having invalid content. If I click on that, I'll see exactly my one row. So what I did then is I connected the valid exit of this tool to my writer and with my writer, I'm creating a table which is called customer cleansed. And this customer cleansed is not having the slashes anymore. To integrate that cleanse job now into my ODI, I'm having a package called cleanse data warehouse. And in the diagram, I added that cleanse customers tool step. As you can see here, I have to enter the exact name of my EDQ job of my EDQ project. Then I have to add the server name and the port. The port is always 9005 if you have not changed it during the installation. And your username and the password. And then you have to decide whether you want to execute that job in a synchronous mode or an asynchronous mode. What I will do now is I will execute that. It was all run and I have now the proper content in my cleansed customer table.